we would now look at a comprehensive problem where we are going to prepare the profit and loss appropriation account with all the adjustments which are available and simultaneously also prepare the capital accounts of the partner. A, B and C are equal profit sharing partners in a firm. So what you know is that both A, actually not both, all A, B and C are equal profit sharing partners in a firm where they are entitled to a salary of 10,000 per annum. The following figures are available. Please prepare the profit and loss appropriation account and the capital accounts of the partner. The total drawings of A are 10,000, B 15,000, C 20,000. Initial capital introduced on 1st April 2008. A 80,000, B 15,000 and C 20,000. Interest on capital in drawings are 10 and 12% respectively. Now please note it is not 10% per annum. This is one of the catch which might come across in some of the questions you see. If per annum is not given, you can make a working assumption to say that we've assumed that it is 10% flat on the gross amount or 12% flat on the gross amount. Profit during the year was 1 lakh of which 10,000 is to be transferred to the general reserve. A and B claim a fixed salary of 25,000 per annum and 36,000 per annum respectively. C is allowed to claim commission at 5% on gross sales which are 1 lakh. So commission of 5% on gross sale of 1 lakh will be 5,000. Right? Let us prepare these accounts. So the way we will proceed is we are going to move one by one putting in all the entries in both the accounts. So A, B and C are equal profit sharing. They are entitled to a salary of 10,000 per annum. So what I'm going to do is in my profit and loss appropriation account, I'm going to put in the partner's salary of A, not partner's salary, uh, yeah, 10,000, B, 10,000 and C, 10,000, right? So the total that you get here is 30,000. For the purpose of this question, we've assumed that this variable salary is nothing but the bonus, which all of them have claimed to the extent of 10,000 per annum, right? So here in their cap profit and loss appropriation account to partner salary, the variable part is 30,000, right? In their capital account, we are going to put in by variable salary 10,000 each, right? Total drawings A, 10, B, 15 and C, 20,000. The drawings do not impact the profit and loss appropriation account, but they are going to impact the capital account. So in the capital account, we are going to put in the amount of drawings, which is 10,000, 15,000 and 20,000 respectively, right? Initial capital introduced on 1st April 2008, 80,000, 15,000 and 20,000. So this will be the balance of capital account, which is we are going to assume as 80,000, 15,000, right, and 20,000. Interest on capital and drawings are 10 and 12% respectively. So since the capital is 8,000, the interest will be 8,000. Here, 10% of 15,000, 1,500, 10% of 20,000, 2,000. The total of interest on capital is something which we need to put in here. So 8,000, 1,500 and 2,000, 8,000, 1,500 and 2,000. This will be 11,500. Interest on drawings is how much? It is 12%. Again, like I told you, we don't have an indication as to whether this is to be monthly, annual or whatever. So we'll just apply flat 12% to all these numbers. So 1,800 and 2,000. 400. Now this is going to be an income for the firm. So we'll put in 1200, 1800 and 2400 here. 1200, 
1800, 2400, the total being 5400. Right? So, what are the future adjustments? Profit during the year were 1 lakh, of which 10,000 is to be transferred to the general reserve. So, the net profit is 1 lakh 100, out of which, sorry, 1 lakh, out of which 10,000 has been transferred to the general reserve. Right? A and B claim a fixed salary of 25,000 and 36,000 per annum, respectively. Now, in addition to this variable salary, a and B are also claiming a fixed salary, right? So there are two ways in which we can do this. We can either put in this 10,000 for C here, and we can add this 25,000 and 36,000 to what A and B are claiming, right? So this becomes 35,000, this becomes 46,000. And we are also going to credit this to their respective capital account right c is allowed a commission at the rate of five percent on gross sales which are one lakh so the commission which has to go to c is five thousand by commission five thousand any more entries no we are going to apply to the profit and loss appropriation account we get a total of one lakh five thousand 400 over here just ignore this okay let me do that right how much is the net number remaining after subtracting all this let's do that separately so if you take 105400 the balance is 17900 which when divided equally between all of them gives us 5966, 5966 and 5967 that makes it 17,900. So we will add this 5966 here, 5966 here and 5967 here. Now what remains is only the balancing of these accounts. Now while this is a mathematical procedure I will just give you the answers to this particular case. It is going to be 118966, right? This is going to be 58466, and this one would be 32967. When considering these figures, the balancing figure or the balance which is carried down would be 107766, 41. Triple six here and one zero five six seven here. Right? And that's how you complete this question.